we're celebrating Earth Day this week. Our meteorologist, Sean Stiles, had a chance to talk with San Diego County Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer about the county's climate action plan. The county has a goal to be at zero carbon emissions by the year 2045, and she believes we can do it. Climate change is affecting us here in San Diego from the coast all the way to the deserts. And to get a better idea of what the county is doing, I spoke with Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer and what the Climate Action Plan is. We have some of the most incredibly rich and vibrant ecosystems in the world here in San Diego County. And we just have a responsibility as a steward of our, of our planet and our future to safeguard those for our children. Supervisor Lawson Reamer represents District 3 in the North County and is a San Diego native, so she's seen the effects of climate change over time. We are now experiencing droughts and wildfires all year long. We have a lot of these uh, climate effects looking at our bluffs, erosion of the bluffs. Um, there's changes in our chaparral cover, um, our native plant species. So it, it's really pretty significant. And it's because of these issues voters are concerned. I cannot tell you how many conversations I've had on doorsteps, at street fairs, at farmers markets, where people come up to me and they say, our number one issue is climate. Our number one issue is making sure we have a planet for our children. As an economist with an environmental focus, she says the county's environmental action plan is working on growing the economy while reducing carbon. We are really focused on a green jobs plan at the center of our regional decarbonization framework. Uh, we're really focused on how do we green our economy, we create more good jobs for working families, we create more opportunities for businesses that we're really on the cutting edge. Some may think growing the economy and being green won't work. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Um, we're, those, those two things really go hand in hand and that's how we're approaching it at the county. The county is starting with the power they buy. We just voted to join San Diego Community Power, and that's important because that gives us a path to, as quickly as possible, move away from fossil fuels as our primary source of energy production on our region. Housing is another tool. We'll be able to get folks out of their cars and spend more time with your family and less time stuck in traffic. The goal is zero carbon emissions by 2045. To get there, to really get to, to zero, we're all going to need to collaborate. Um, so what we asked our friends at USD and UCSD and Berkeley to do is put together a regional strategy. And the county is asking us to help. And you're going to have the option to opt in to 100% renewable, to say yes. Research your candidates. Ask how they stand on climate, ask how they stand on the environment, um, and make that one of your top voting issues. And make your voice heard. People need to show up, need to raise their voices, need to speak up at our board meetings um, so that all of my colleagues as well as myself know that we have the backing of the voters as we take these tough decisions. While the county's climate action plan looks at San Diego, it's also bringing regional players into that action plan, which means us making the right choices when it comes to the future. Sean Stiles, CBS 8. Thanks, Sean. Earth Day is this Friday, and we want to clarify all of the changes this year when it comes to your trash. Food waste needs to be recycled now and turned into compost. So why are you being told what to do with your trash? What do we put in those green bins exactly? And why are the green bins so slow to roll out in some parts of San Diego? We take a deep dive into the new food recycling laws. We'll answer all of your questions on this Earth Day, this Friday at 6.30 p.m. right here on CBS 8.